Some of Governor Tim Walz's state agency heads could be out of a job as the GOP-led Senate con considers ousting them. One of those commissioners already sidestepped that fate by resigning from her post ahead of a likely firing tomorrow. Our Caroline Cummings explains. Uh, the appointment is confirmed. The Minnesota Senate moved to quickly approve two of Governor Tim Walz's appointments to run state agencies and departments Tuesday morning. It's the unique power of the chamber to give the okay or remove members of the current governor's administration. In the end, we have to decide, like an employer, is somebody doing their job or not doing their job? Three agency heads most at risk were slated for a vote Wednesday. That was before one of them, Laura Bishop at the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, quit before Republicans in the Senate could fire her. They've been sharply critical of her and her lead on the clean cars rule to get more electric vehicles on Minnesota roads in the next few years. If the commissioners then decide that they're going to go around the legislative branch as well, it's the only tool that we really have. Governor Tim Walz, in his announcement of her departure, condemned the Senate, who, quote, are choosing to use taxpayer dollars to play partisan games and try to politicize an agency charged with protecting Minnesotans from pollution because they refused to acknowledge the science of climate change. The Senate moved last year to oust two other commissioners, though overall it's pretty rare. Just six others have been voted out of their jobs since 2000. The Senate held hearings for the Department of Natural Resources Commissioner Sarah Stroman and Minnesota Housing Finance Commissioner Jennifer Ho Tuesday afternoon. DFL members of the Senate, well into session overtime, denounced the move. The fact that we are extending this special session for this purpose is frankly an abuse of this process. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The Senate will likely adjourn after the votes on the remaining commissioners tomorrow. The legislature is expected to come back in September to sign off on frontline worker bonuses, which is part of the budget deal.